In August of 95, one of the U.S.'s largest CG conventions, SIGGRAPH, was held in L.A. At that time, we were not sure what the next generation RPG game should look like. So, as an experiment, we created a CG-based, game-like interactive demo to present at the show. It focused on battle scenes that were 100% real-time and polygon-based. This became the seed of Final Fantasy VII, and it was then that we decided to make this a CG-based game. When we discussed designing the field scenes as illustration or CG-based, we came up with the idea to eliminate the connection between the movies and the fields. Without using blackout at all and maintaining the quality at the same time, we would make the movie stop at one cut and make the characters move around on it. We tried to make it controllable even during movies. As a result of using a lot of motion data plus CG effects in still images, it turned out to be a mega capacity game. And therefore, we had to choose the CD-ROM as our media. In other words, we became too aggressive and got ourselves into trouble. a little clearer. The water is a little bluer. The road's a little bumpier. The jumps are harder. The level's deeper. The character's smarter. The sound is hotter. The graphics cooler. The secret's darker. The danger's fiercer. The challenge a whole lot tougher. And suddenly the world's a more exciting place to be. Super Mario World. It comes only as part of the system you were created for. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The next generation from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Super power.
Not the firm? From the firm. Yeah, the Lord likes to start curly hair. God bless the USA. God bless the USA. God bless the USA. I'm going to point to this thing. We didn't get my dark lipstick on. We didn't get my lipstick on. 30 seconds. 40 seconds. Was that camera on when I said that? Yeah. 15 seconds. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five. Jesus said the Holy Spirit is like a well of water springing up, a fountain. Today, I'm going to minister the power, the Holy Spirit of God to you in every area of your life. If you need a miracle, the miracle working power of God is going to flow out through this television camera into your life. Bring deliverance, healing, prosperity, soundness of mind, whatever you need, any area of life that you're thirsty in, stay tuned because we're going to minister the power of God. Clear. Okay, I'm rolling. Don't need this. Lens flare. You're going to use your own clairvoyant abilities to see just where each object is on the tray. And while Debbie's arranging the objects, let's do some preliminaries together. Release excessive energy into an inanimate object or shake your hands. Just let the energy flow. Relax your body. Feel your feet. Feel your body all the way from your feet up through your legs, your shoulders, your hands, your head. And focus your spirit's hey. energy so that you can feel what? it inside you and around What's wrong you. With it? And now move down to your oh, gut. Okay. To oh. Verify uh, any of your mm, images. If that you mess with it, mind. it might fall even more. See how quickly you can do it already. Don't. Now look don't at your list it. of objects for a moment. Close Just your please, eyes. Please, please try not to care about Here it. Here the movie screen. That is what I'm asking you. Inside your forehead. There's, and now the visualize the tray. No, I don't. I'm going to leave see it. See if you can see each You're object on the tray. No. On the please don't care about it, stuff. Please. Oh my God. Each Haven't I done enough? <laughs> and when you get a sense of it, <laughs> oh, I just want to break. In which you see that's not happening now because I have to fix this. It's nothing fucking stays fixed around this this world. Lights sag in a place that's not visible by anybody. But maybe that won't help. What? I didn't expect it to rain for two days. How does that? When does that happen? Anyway, it's a left. Yeah, I dropped my uh, I dropped my switch on Halloween, uh, and it broke because I put it in a basket that was full of things, and then it rolled over a thing and shook, and then fell out, and smacked on the floor. And now this analog stick does not recognize a left. It's got everything else. So luckily, because I already switched the case, I have some experience dismantling these assholes. It's not easy. Uh, well, it's it's not hard either. It's just small. That's that's the case of electronics nowadays. Everything's just super fucking tiny. Use flex tape. Flex tape to put the, the joy analog stick back together. So, I don't know. 
doing these is always a challenge because you definitely don't want to fucking strip them. Because if you strip them, you are fucked! And I'm scared because they're really tight in there. Why did I tighten this up so much? Did your left joy kind of connection issues? No. No, 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 no. I. So. Having, having been through the. I was. Is, is, are people talking about flex tip again because of JonTron? I haven't seen that video, but. I feel like it's not hard sometimes to see why the internet has decided they have their new memes. Well, I'm gonna roll right under there, huh? <laughs> Racist Tron brought it back. Listen, it's not it's not racist if it's true. But well, whatever. Hey man, he's playing the fucking game, right? Cause a shitstorm, go away for a couple months, come back, get a get a million. Oh, he got like six million views in two days. Yeah, boy, people really sticking it to Jontron, huh? Really sticking it to him. Whatever, man. YouTube gonna YouTube. Couple months. Yeah, it was more like a year, wasn't it? No, I was, I was, I was just throwing out a number. Mine's on other things right now. Joey Con things. It's good. Thank you for the reset. Also, I think it was plus one reset. Pre me being on the mic. Boy, I really hope that's turning and not stripping. Uh-oh. Mm, I can't tell. Oh, shit. Yeah, we might have a problem. Maybe I think it's turning. Shit. I'm, I'm worried. I thought when I took it off to put on the custom shell that, uh... I would never have to take it apart again. I thought I'm done. I mean, I can always just get a, get another Joy-Con, but uh... <sighs> yeah, this, this might not might not work. I can't tell if it's turning or stripping, and it's really it's really freaking me out. They're fucking expensive. Yeah, they kind of are, but I mean, what's the alternative? Just never ever. Having it, what uh, what happened? I dropped I dropped my switch, and I guess it landed on this Joy-Con, and now the analog stick does not register left. So I have been playing games that only use the D-pad for a while, and you know, using the Pro Controller. I really hope that you're. Fuck, I don't think that one's coming out. I think we might be sunk already. So let me see, let me see. If you apply a ridiculous amount of pressure, sometimes you can get it to grip. And, oh boy, what was that? What was that feeling? I think the ridiculous amount of pressure was just me shoving it through threads. Hey, Joker, thanks for thanks for clipping that, bro. Oh well. Now I'll get a million views, and people will post threads about how they disagree with me, but everyone will still watch my shit, and then I'll get really rich for being a racist son of a bitch on the internet. I actually don't have a horse in that fight. I couldn't care less, really. Uh, whatever, man. If anything, the legacy of JonTron is a good, a good reminder that sometimes, if you're not actually a, like a sociologist, maybe you should just keep your mouth shut about things you don't know. And that applies to me, by the way. I'm taking that. I'm taking that to heart. That was not a, uh, not an outward statement. It was an inward one. Uh, and I've been, I've been trying to do that a little more. Be mindful of the things that I know, the things that I think, and uh, separate the different, or separate them mentally. Zaxby, thank you for the two years sub, hi man. Let me, uh, this screw looks like it is coming out, which is a little shocking, I swore it was stripped. Sometimes it just takes a little, little gump, a little stick to a little wake up and how do you do? Let me play a song now. And Game Freak, thanks for the prime sub. Try a drill? Yeah, just pfft. I mean, yeah, you could... That's what you do to strip screws, right? You drill them out. But that only works if you can, like, re-tap the hole and have a replacement screw, neither of which I can do. Yeah, Lawrence at War with JonTron? Honorable gamer combat. I don't know, he, he's, he's probably really good at video games, yeah? He'd probably beat me, like, at video games. I'm too busy, uh, upholding the leftist agenda Pretty sure you have to get new screws. 
I mean, as long as they go back in, that's all that matters. And I'm, it's, not, it's not super hard to get screws back in, um, even if they're stripped, just to the point where it holds the fucking thing together, because that's all it's got to do. I mean, I do, like, uh, I do like my controllers to be real tight, which is why I, I lock this fucker down. I don't like it when you can feel a controller sort of flex, you know? I don't like that. I want my controllers to be a brick. Um, but yeah, I'll go back to trolling subreddits where people only tell me that my assumptions about the world are correct. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, I heard this track in the um, in a in a, a rideshare, so I'm gonna play it for you now. Weird flex, you know it is. Uh, Zaxby, I appreciate it, and I think you might like this trick. This track too. It's got that. It's got like an explosion that this guy sort of Texas indie sound about it. What? Do you happen to still have my keys in your pocket? No. Do not, do not have that. Worried about you stabbing yourself? What? Oh yeah, like a slipping the screwdriver. I guess that's more likely. That is much more likely than than, than me uh, snapping this thing in half. Yeah, no, it's it sucks uh, having to like work tiny ass screws but use a lot of pressure because I'm an idiot. Also, the screwdriver isn't exactly a good size, but it's it's tri wing and there really aren't that many. Take your time? Yeah, I could. Or I could just do it fast and break something. I can't tell if that one's... I mean, it seems like it's coming out, but... It's certainly not getting any looser. Also, this one. It's gonna be a pain. No, I haven't played it, uh, E36 e Quake Champions, but certainly the... I've been watching the, uh, the tournaments and I'm into it, man. I, uh, I will, I will pick it up. <sighs> Stream it more. Okay, I think this one's actually real stripped. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that out. I think I might be sunk. Because it's just, it's turning super smooth and not moving. And I don't even see, I don't even see, like, the fuckers in there anymore. But yeah, it's like, the, uh, I don't know what the technical term for it is, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't just fit. I'll keep trying, see if I can get it to turn, but I think, I think it might be time to get a new Joy-Con and then see if I can just... That ah, I heard it click. That either means that I super stripped out the screw, or it turned and then I pushed it so hard that it... Yeah, uh, I don't know what that sound means. Bless you. It means something is working. It means something's moving. <sighs> Buy new Joy Cons at Walmart and return your broken ones. I hate people that do that. I guess it's Walmart. You know they can afford to take a take one on the chin for your average consumer. But I try using a rubber band to get some traction if it's stripped. What, like put a rubber band over it, then stab through and try to turn it? Hmm. God damn. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. You lose your keys again? I guess well, I, I stole them last time, but. Well, I didn't, I mean, I don't have them because I didn't lock my car. You had, the last time that I remember having them was it. Did you leave them in the car? Why would I have taken them out? I, mean, I put them in the, uh, I put them in the cup holder. Uh, not upset, just annoyed. It's the second time she hasn't been able to find her keys today. Been a long day of doing annoying shit. Also, I'm still hungover a little bit, so that doesn't help. Playing on any Joy-Con blows? I know, but like, if you're taking your Switch with you, that's the best way to play uh, when you're on the go. Yeah, I think these are stripped. I don't think I can get them out. Hmm. 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 
Get her a GPS keychain? It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Well, now the annoying thing is I have a busted Joy-Con and a replacement analog stick that I can't even use now. And I waited weeks for this to get here. Ah oh well. Hey, them's the brakes. Could try a tiny flathead and wedge it in there. Yeah, to like bite into the metal. That's the other thing that frustrates me about about a lot of controllers is the screws are very soft. Um, so it's it's kind of dumb. A Torx? I have Torx. Uh, I think they're too big though. These these fuckers are so small. Well, it's not drifting though. I, I dropped my switch, so the analog stick broke. Oh, see, you, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, sleep well, man. Hope you. Good luck. Good luck with your assignment. Uh, so I got this. This is like a jeweler's screwdriver for glasses and stuff. It's, it's even it's a little too big. Yeah, it's it's not really biting. I have turned tri-head screwdrivers with a flathead before. It fucking sucks, but you can do it. I'm doing that. I think with a Game Boy SP. I don't think I'm turning it. No. World's greatest. Thank you for the prime sub. Man, it's not even fucking. Not even clicking. Fuh. Yeah, it's it's just turning totally smooth. I think I bored the whole thing out. Well, let me think. I guess what I could do is try and drill it out <laughs> with the the smallest bit I have, and then maybe I can just order replacement screws online. I'm sure that somebody sells these, right? Please drill it. I think I will. Break the fucker? I mean, that's not going to help at all. My hole might be too small, but if you just tie the rubber band, you just lay one side of the band between your screwdrivers and the strip screw. Oh, yeah, I mean, if if I stripped it by trying to turn it, I don't think that just the grip of a, a, a rubber band is going to help me turn it. If there's a metal fabricator near you, they will have those screws? Hmm. Here, now I'll uh, try something else to turn the screw. I mean, if it's completely stripped out, pretty much nothing. Uh, turns it, it's just bare metal. Just flat, smooth metal. Um, I mean, once it's out, shit, I don't even think I can do that. I mean, there's a trick where you, like, you get a grinder and you cut, cut it so you can turn it with a, uh, a flathead, but I don't think I have anything that small. Glue the screw to something. I guess that's a, that's a trick. Order one part every week and make a new one. Building, building things can always be fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go get a drill and see if I have a drill bit small enough. I think this might actually be too small for even my smallest bit. Eww, there's like a smudge or something on my desk. Gross. Uh, try it out. Nothing be lost in the rubber band. I don't have a rubber band. <laughs> like, however, I appreciate the intention to help, but it is like... Every two minutes, somebody else comes into stream and asks what's going on. No, uh, yeah, Dr. Peanut Butter, I've stripped the, the screw head so it doesn't turn. Uh, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get it. No, it's cool. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Uh, wasn't, wasn't mad at you. All right, I'll be right back. Trust your gut feelings. Don't second guess yourself. If you don't get any impressions, don't worry. Just practice your preliminaries again. Put the VCR on hold and try again. Ready? Do you have the new arrangement in mind? And remember, this is not a test of your psychic abilities. We're only practicing. Let's look at the results. Pad and paper, scissor, gloves, glasses, and sand dollar. Remember, you're just doing this once, so if you didn't get anything right, it doesn't mean you're not psychic. Just practice and get better. And if you'd like to practice this exercise, on your own with some objects that you happen to have nearby, feel free to place your VCR on hold at the end of this segment. Okay, well, you know what? Let's Weirdly, this might actually work out. I have a 1 16th head and it looks like that's just a little bit bigger than our screw, which is exactly what we're looking for. Why oh, yeah, did you guys develop your psychic powers? I hope so. That means you can tell me if this is going to work or not. 
I mean, I can, I can just have the Joy-Con with only two screws in it for a while, while I like wait for a. That doesn't. That's not right at all. <laughs> it was going backwards. Um, put you on fuck the world torque setting. All right. Should maybe not hold my hand over the. Yeah. I'm spitting out some metal, but I'm not doing it anymore. You want me to? I don't have to. Okay. I think that got it. All right, that's one. Ah, there we go. <sighs> giving you anxiety. All right. So, yeah, there's the uh, annoyingly baked in screw bits that I can now remove with uh, some pliers. Let's grab it and twist it out. Uh, but yeah, this is what the inside of a Joy-Con looks like. Uh, the annoying thing is there are ribbon cables all over the son of a bitch. Um, so you have to like, it's a lot of like very fine popping and, uh, and, and like wedging to get these things dis dismantled. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna take out the battery. Um, I'm gonna get some more tools. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, I have an exacto to pry. Actually, I should probably oh, yeah. I'll use this to pry. Uh, yeah, actually, I can probably just do it with this. So, the battery's just held in place with a little adhesive strip that I've I've removed this thing so many times it's not all that adhesive anymore. And then there's just like a little clip. You just, eh, there you go. Battery gone. And then, let's see here. There's this little guy. There's two ribbon cables that connect to and power this, which both connects it to the dock, the switch itself, and then to the LED strip on the side to show you what player controller you are. There are more screws inside, because of course there are, but these are at least not tri wing. Uh, thumb. <laughs> Has I opened it by drilling out the screws. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I will need to take those out before I reassemble it. Need a nice thin little Phillips head, which I think I've got in here. Well, Lawrence ground himself. Nope. Party bears, I tend to think that grounding yourself while working with electronics is a superstition. Uh, I mean, I get. I get the physics of it, like I understand why people do it, but in all my years of working with electronics, I've never shorted anything with static electricity. So I don't think that it's actually that present of a danger. In fact, I've never talked to anyone directly that has ever had it happen or known someone that had it happen. All right, let me think. because. I'm hoping I can get away with not undoing absolutely everything. I think I can leave that cable there. I gotta take this one off because I have to remove that screw. No, wait, wait. I have to remove this screw to get the yeah the thumbstick out. But I don't think I have to remove this board, which is gonna save me a lot of time. That's a good thing. I'm on wood floors. That's true. That's very true. But I've I've worked on you know I've worked on computers sitting on carpet before. Uh, as long as you're rubbing wool socks on shaggy carpet, you're more than likely not going to make a charge through static electricity just sitting there. Yeah, and I, I also tend to think that, uh, oh, you've ruined motherboards, Bollard? Okay. Are you, I mean, I don't want to be an asshole, but are you sure the motherboard wasn't broken before you started handling it? Thank you for the resub, Grace. Appreciate that. Respond to me and you will have talked to someone who shorted a PSU with static. Well, shit, gamer. Okay, okay, you know what? I hate my words. Uh... What were the, just for just for curiosity's sake, what were the conditions you guys were working in? Was it just socks on carpet? Uh, I am taking this apart because I this analog stick is broken. And actually, I wonder if that dent, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a dent in the back. So maybe it fell on the stick and, and, and fucked it up. So yeah, I dropped my Switch uh, over Halloween. Uh, Freddy Cooper, thank you for the, the reset. 
I sneeze into my computer just before closing up, and it's fine. Good thing you didn't give it a virus. Aww. Anyway, so I ordered a replacement stick. It took like three weeks to get here from China. But I figured a, an $8 part was cheaper than a $35 Joy-Con or however fucking expensive they are. I don't care. So, this one doesn't have a dent. Feels good. All right, my hands are a little shaky right now. I'm, I'm still, like I said, I'm still hungover. So, ah. Because, uh, man, I was, uh, Lawrence doesn't buy American. I tried to buy this part directly from Nintendo. Nintendo is usually really good about stocking replacement parts, but they didn't have this one. Maybe not yet. I need a shot of whiskey. Fuck. I mean, that works. It delays, it delays the hangover, but it works. I remember seeing, uh, what was it, Brainiac about that? Okay. Then of course we're gonna have to pop this old girl open. Take that ribbon cable out. Mm. Now it's, it's being a little recalcitrant. There we go. Just make sure you hydrate enough. Yeah, I've been trying. It, it's been tough, man. I've actually been doing a lot of annoying shit in the last couple of days, like out and about. Well, I guess you, I should take that back. Yesterday I got to do nothing, except I ended up sleeping for like six hours. So it's been a it's been a long couple of weeks. Oh. Why is that so hard to turn? Mm, Motherfuck! I think I might need some pliers. One second. Oh, I need I need pliers in. I need to, uh... I should just put on some, some random video game tunes, some background jams. It's gonna play in the room through my mic, so... You know... It's not gonna be... the highest fidelity, but... So I can use this to try to get the, uh, these fuckers out too, which I guess I might as well do now. It's gonna be the best tool to do this. Ah, oh, whatever. Joey, I dropped it. On it. What do you think the Persona 5 stage will be for Smash Ultimate? I mean, it can it can be any of the any of the castles, right? It's probably gonna be the first one, uh, Teacher, because that's the one that most people would know from playing. So why am I doing this now, man? Everyone, I don't know how to do this. So I put it in the stream title. Uh, I dropped it. Yeah, push Kamishita's castle with all the teeth. All oh, the teen, teen titties. Who doesn't like, who doesn't like that? Perfect fit for, ah! That was, that was bound to happen. What's the, good old, good old wrench bite. Yeah. F for that part of my finger. Whatever. There we go. Okay. There we go. What broke when you dropped it? Wow. No one, uh, no one's asked that flavor of the question yet. I would have thought it would be implied, but maybe not. Um, maybe I just, maybe I need a really tiny. Um, what is the? I don't know. C clamp. One of those things. Maybe if I like screw it all the way in and really smack it down on those things and I can spin it around and get those fuckers out. 
Um, actually, I don't even know if they sell replacement screws online, so this may all be uh, for nothing. I mean, surely they do, right? Okay. Had that seated in there all nice. The one thing that does make Joy-Cons a little annoying to work on is this, this mass of ribbon cables does make it so you can't really move it around much. It's always kind of clank and there's all these other little pieces to keep <sighs> fucking hands. It's usually like this when I have a shitload of coffee, but now I'm just fucking dehydrated. I guess I am literally poisoned at this moment. Ah! Woo! There we go. Oh, motherfucker! My hands are shaky. It's hard to get... If I get it off a little bit, then it just sticks to the fucking screwdriver and end up pulling it out again. There we go. It's not driven in all the way, but whatever, I'll put in the other one. <sighs> well, my shoulder's out a smidge. How does the D-pad work on the Joy-Con? What do you mean? Uh, you mean mechanically? It's, uh, it's, four, it's four switches, four mechanical switches. It's actually, the Joy-Cons are actually, oh boy, that popped right in there. Um, I'm impressed with the Joy-Con make, uh, I gotta say. I mean, controllers in and mass have, have stopped using rubber mats, which I also appreciate quite a bit. But uh, they crammed a lot of tech in these fuckers, and it's laid out pretty well. It's extremely con condensed, as you might expect. But yeah, they have every every little whistle in there. It's pretty cool. I <laughs> drive over from Dallas and throw my Joy-Con through the window? Like, just so I stop uh, torturing myself with it? I like this. I like doing this stuff. It, um, I don't know. I get weirdly sentimental about uh, tools, like both actual tools and then tools of gamer ownage. Yeah, it's like out of anything to get attached to with a with a console. I feel like the controllers are the thing you spend the most time with. Okay, it's got a pretty hefty click too. Okay, so now that's in there. Uh, now I just gotta put these ribbon cables back. There's this one and there's this one, and then I put the tray on, put the shoulder back in, uh, and then put the battery in, and then uh, try and get these asshole screws out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck these ribbons in first just to make sure they're nice and seated and out of the way. So if I like uh, start being real wild with my, uh, my prying or my pulling, I don't end up yanking one of them around. Come on, you. Uh, these hands. Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little, little, little drink here. I'm broke as fuck. Would ask my dad for a new mic for Christmas, but he got me a 144 hertz monitor because I'm a gamer. Noise. Hell fucking yeah. 144 hertz monitors are great. How does a D-pad detect a button press? Is it completing a circuit when D-pad is moved over to position or some other way? Oh! I mean, yeah, and any interface device, anything at all, uh, is that a piece of rice in my keyboard? Get out of there. Uh, it all operates on, um, c closing circuits. They're all switches. Light switches, uh, buttons, yeah. The way buttons used to work, mechanically, and this is D-pad or buttons, it's the same thing, um, really, is there used to be a rubber mat with a little, like, nipple on it that would sit over, like, it was a, a conductive surface on top of a rubber dome, so you'd have this, like, c rubber cone with a conductive surface plate on the top, and then the bottom would have interlaced circuitry, um, and then when the... So it'd be like that, but separated. And then when you press a button, the rubber dome would collapse, and the conductive plate would stamp down, 
connecting all of those circuits. And it was interleaved like that, because it was a physical thing, and the, and the more, like, interleaving you have, the less chance you have of fault. Uh, but, the rubber mats are squishy. They don't give a nice little click. Um, which way does this fold? To lock it? There we go. Uh, so then they went up to mechanical switches. Which, uh, if you want to, you can look up, a, like, a, a, a diagram of a mechanical switch online. Um, that will explain it far faster than I could. But it has an actual, like, mechanical click to it, as opposed to just a rubber mat folding. Um, but same thing, it's two pieces that touch. Yeah. Puke is not a conductor, or is it? Someone Google it, but no link. Yeah, I guess at this point, um, a very, a very uh, clever troll could uh, use this moment to post some salacious porn. Hey, you know what, though? The rule is, not work safe is a lot of if it's topical, so if you can find some rule 34 of a mechanical switch keyboard getting fucked or something like that, I am giving you permission to post it. Okay. Can't tell if you're really in there or not. In the past, I think when I was messing with it, uh, I would put the battery in, because the switch actually has like a, a button test on its menu, which is really fucking cool. I don't know why they have that. It's like the only console that does. But you can go to this like thing under... <laughs> Joe Wood, you got dunked, huh? Whoop! I guess it wasn't a uh, Rule 34 mechanical switch porn, like I said. What's this? Is this like that? Oh, that doesn't look right. Ow. Oh boy. In some way, some way, somehow, this thing was like rotated around to the thing was facing up. The fuck if I know at this point. Oh yeah, let's uh, let me see if I can get these assholes out. Hold on, let me click on this. Oh yeah, wow, you did it! There it is. That's... Okay. Okay, well, whatever. Good job, Grace. And we all got gnomed today. Uh, oh shit, Katie, sorry, I didn't see your cheers. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna go try to get a different kind of pliers or something. Odds are low because these are so huge, uh, but maybe I can get it to work. Oh, has anyone uh, has anyone played the middle, uh, the Devil May Cry Five demo yet? Oh boy, ah, uh, the nose of these players is all gummed up. I may not even be able to. Oh, hell yeah! This is a Rayman Black Betty. No, there's no way. These uh, heads of these pliers don't really match up flush. Mm. Mm. I don't think that turned at all. <sighs> Maybe I do just, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do things slow and steady here, and, and I'm actually gonna remove these other parts so I can just hold this as a piece. There we go. Thank you, Gonzo. Okay, I think that is turning. Excellent. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that? A real piece of shit. Real asshole. That's you. But I've been wanting to play Diablo. And I can't. Or rather, I've been uh, wanting to... Uh, I think these screws are longer. 
any other ones. Which may be why I had such trouble turning them. Okay, yeah, good, this is working. There we go. Alright, well. And luckily the, the the drill bit slipped a little and fucked that up, but it's on the inside, so nothing's gonna matter as long as the uh, as long as the screw bites. Did you have fun to play? Are you gonna play the Diablo 5 demo or DMC demo? Yes. I want my double trigger pulled badly. Uh, I really should have maintained some kind of order when I was yanking all this shit apart. Whatever. That's right. This was like. In like this. Uh, of course, it's under this other thing. Oh no! Wait, no, I think it's like this. Yeah, there we go. Should be doing this with my thumbnail. But... was trying to push it the wrong way, which is how we break things. So let me see here. If this goes like this, it feels like... Yeah, there's a little kink in it. All right. This is a pretty solid beat. What is this? Oh, Bionic Commander rearmed. Getting ribbon cables to go back home can sometimes be a, a pain. Just an exercise in patience. Oh, that doesn't look right. Wait, what side of the contacts on? Are they down? So it'd be like... Maybe I need to look up a video. <laughs> of which way this... <sighs> this ribbon cable was in there. Because if it's wrong, then these buttons won't work. Or rather, the, the shoulder won't. You might want to test it before you start closing it back up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll look it up. I don't know if the contacts go up or down. If only I had thought even five seconds ahead and made a mental note of these things. But yeah, there are there are plenty of videos of Joy-Con deconstruction. Contacts face up, so I don't think I think I was right. Usually, you can figure it out by the way the cable just naturally lies since it's been there for a long time. So it's a, such a fucking short cable. I gotta say this uh, this Razer webcam is being bizarrely helpful with its ring light right now. I've always had really shit light when doing work like this, but this is actually not bad. It could stand to be a little brighter. Ha ha ha! Oh boy. Yeah. Gently. Get in there, you bitch. What's going in? Yes. Okay. It doesn't feel like it's all the way in, but it makes it hard to nudge it anymore. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Alright, so now... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's this, then this. Uh, should I put in this first? Or does it go in after this? Oh, it goes either way. Okay. I'll just plug this in. After I plug this in, um, I'll just... I won't screw anything down, but I'll get this in there, put this back in, put in the battery, turn it on. Let's see if everything works. <sighs> what happened to the Joy-Con? Caramel. Caramel Thunder, which, fuck me, is a great name. Uh, I dropped it. I dropped my switch to the analog stick.
stopped registering left. Which is not the most important direction, but it is a direction. Um, it's, a, it's one of them, that's for sure. So I ordered a replacement from China, because I'm a cheap asshole. God damn it. My laundry's ready. Damn it. All these ribbon cables kind of act like little spring loads. They start shoving the thing around when you try to maneuver things because there's tension on other parts of it. Game mm. music at its best, 24 hours a day. You're listening to the RP Gamers Network Radio. God bless. I just realized this might, might be the nerdiest stream on all of Twitch, which is saying something. Listening to a dude do a network ident for RP Gamers Radio while I try and... Pop these fuckers in. Wah. Why would you turn it on? Wait, why? Oh, you're talking about other stuff. I don't know. Take a little break. Let my hands rest. Thanks for the cheers, Zach. Man, you guys are too nice to me. I'm sitting here getting testy with people, and you're still showering me with money. All right, Steph, an apology. I was a little, I was a little snippy. Dang it. <laughs> That gave us a bunch of subs. Why'd you do that, Zach? I don't even have good emotes, man. There's all kinds of things that I think, like, boy, if I gave myself permission to try... Oh, no. To, like, play the Twitch game a little harder. I have rad emotes. A thought occurred to me today. Ah! I think that I got her. Yeah. These are things that, like, if I were a full-time Twitch lord, that I would start experimenting with. Um, I had a thought. What I've been wanting to do for a while is go through and tag all of my like dumb uh, pre-roll clips uh, with descriptive tags, so I can play them by grouping or like make make quick playlists of, of random media. And then I thought, well, shit, if I did that, I could like open it up for voting about what people want to see. Wouldn't that be cool? And do some shit where like subs get more votes or more waiting. So people can vote to see, I don't know, old commercials or weird videos. Uh, uh, that, that one dude in his basement saying uh, comedy jokes. Music videos, things like that. Pretty cool. I vote for like specific decades. You can see stuff from the 80s or 90s or 2000s. Okay, and then. There we go. Okay. You're approaching moment of truth time here. Wrapping with RJP. Thanks for resetting. I've sent a lot of streams. Glad to just show support somehow, keeping awesome. Well, thank you, man. Um, yeah. I understand how it goes. Life, life can be a pain sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I Twitch keeps all my shit uh, archived. Uh, I already think that's like the 60-day thing. Um, I'm sure p portions of it get muted when I uh, when I play music, but I also upload all that shit to uh, YouTube. So if you're in need of background noise, that's available for you. Or if you have better things to do with your time and just want to give me money because you like me, I'll take it. All right. Okay. Good. Got that shit going. Uh. Let me. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna sink? You are. Uh, does that become. Uh, how do you go home with only one Joy Con? Can you? Maybe not. Uh, okay, here's the other one. Oh, 
where is... I can't remember where the utility is to test buttons. I mean, I guess I can just hit them all and see if it works. Well, I got left up and down. Da, da, da. Uh, I don't I don't know about how to test shoulders. Fuck, where was that? Was it, was it under... Oh, it's under setting, I think. Yeah, there we go. N nope, that was totally wrong. There we go. Ah, shit. <laughs> the shoulder is wrong. Oh wait, no, it wasn't the right. It wasn't on the right menu. <gasps> it's working. The okay. Oh, it doesn't show uh, analog. But it was working in the menu, so I th I'm not done any button in the test. Okay, I think we got them all. Up, down, left, right, down, up. Cool! Don't get Octopath. Octopath's not a great game. I gotta be honest, man. I like it, but I wouldn't... I'd recommend it to very specific people under very specific circumstances. It did kind of bum me out how many, like... And, and I hate to say this, uh, you know, there are people who worked hard on it, but how many game awards it got nominated for? Just like, mmm, I think a lot of people didn't play the game. Especially when it got nominated for art direction. I was like, mmm, no, 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 no. That, no, I'm sorry. There are a lot, lot better games out this year that deserve that nom. More than Octopath. I think Octopath actually is art direction. It's not the best. I don't think the sprite works okay. I think a lot of people just saw the trailer, and they were like, oh, It's old but new! Art! It's kind of freaking me out. I saw the light, I saw this light turn off and on a couple of times, so I'm, I'm worried that... Oh boy, that, that worries me. I'm worried that, like, the connection with the battery is loose. Well, it's all, it's all down, it should be good. Nothing really great about it. Blank characters, grindy, battling, lame story. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. Most of the most of the writing is not the best. Uh, dialogue is not not good either. It's very 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 16-bit shit. And um, I will say though, the boss fights are pretty fucking good. I think that they do a pretty good job in the boss fights. Of uh, yeah, I think. I, oh, okay. I think I see what's happening. I think the the cord had some tension on it that was pulling it out of the. Let me let me move this. Actually, let me just reseed it completely. Kind of spin it around. I think the boss fights actually are, are, are make that game valid. <laughs> uh, because I've had a lot of boss fights where I have to really think about mechanics and turn orders and like item use and think multiple turns ahead. Like who can do what at which time. Uh, I think they do a pretty good job of... Because like RPGs like that have an issue where you can beat most of the game just by playing it on like an AI script. And like Final Fantasy XII did a really good job of, and thirteen to, to another extent actually, did a really good job of sort of uh, taking, wait, <gasps> I fucked the battery up. It's like the wrong way. That's why it was all dicked. Okay, there we go. Same, same semi-problem, but yeah, the battery went upside down. So the cord was like kind of prying it out of the out of the socket. All right, that should be good. Thank you, candles. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I I'm enjoying it. Uh, I I wouldn't expect other people to enjoy it <laughs> in the way that I am. Oh wait, I forgot to put the screws in there. Oh, and it goes onto the battery. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'll get there. I'll get there. I gotta wait, I gotta turn my, my jams back on. But yeah, yeah, I think I think uh, I think Octopath's rep repeated nominations for things, I think that's kind of a sign of there were people who were judges who probably didn't play a whole lot of games. But that's okay, man. That's okay. It's gonna happen. Not I think Ribbon cables, man. Uh oh, this popped out. Fuck. Spring loaded piece of shit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take that out again. So I don't. 
do something really stupid. Ah, okay, fine. What's your fucking prop? Joy-Con piece. What's your fucking problem, man? Okay, there we go. Okay. Is there three? Oh, and there's one there. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Fleetly related gaming question. Tips for a job interview. You got one in one. Um, is it a job you want? Uh, I think most people are looking for, like, they want to know that you want the job. They want to know that you want to work. Uh, I think to a lesser extent, they also want to know that you're not lying about your experience. So if you have done that, you're kind of sunk. Um, but if you've been genuine about, if you've been genuine about what what your experience is and, and whether or not you actually want the, the damn job, you'd be shocked at how many people apply for a job and then, like, don't want it. Like, they don't want to work. They just do it because they have to, or because somebody told them to, but if you really want the job, and, and I would say just be genuine about your enthusiasm, that's pretty good. <sighs> Zach deserves a timeout for what? What did he do? Research the company, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, I think, demonstrates enthusiasm. Yes, very good advice. Yeah, the amount of people that like it found out. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes the person who's hiring doesn't really care either. <laughs> so people can lie about their experience and it ends up not mattering because they just get passed through. But the thing is, like, that, that fucking, there's no end game for that. Because the people you work with are going to know that you lied because you're going to be a, a fucking asshole. So even if you get the job, no one's going to like you because you won't be able to do half the shit your job is to do and you're just going to make life harder for everyone else. But if it's like if it's an entry level job, that's not an issue. People expect you to, you know, not know shit yet. Okay. Screws are in. Or at least the ones that are not have not been drilled to oblivion. And now, just pop this on. Put whatever screws that still survive in. And then see if I can buy two more from China. Maybe they'll take a few months to get here. So, let's see. Oh, it's not clicking down. Oh, there she goes. Okay. So I'm thinking one there, one there. Yeah, let's see. Weaknesses that I work too hard. Yeah, that's always kind of a trap, right? People, what would you see your greatest weaknesses? I work too hard. Um, uh, I've never known how to answer that question. I'm, I'm usually pretty honest about it. Um, I think, I think, I don't know, I, I think when people ask that question, they don't even know what they want to hear. I think it's just kind of a, a fucking dumb, dumb little game question. I think by the time people ask that, they already know if they want to hire you or not. Is there, there's like screw bits still in there. Yeah. A little screw ring. Oh shit, is this Diablo? Back when Diablo was good? No, oh, I don't give a shit. I'm excited for Diablo Immortal. I play trash on my phone right now. Like, I kind of gave up because I hate them all. Uh, Hold Down was good. I got into Phoenix Wright. Like, that's a pretty good port. But fuck, man. Why would anyone be upset about Blizzard trying to make a mobile game? I mean, I, I get it. Actually, I do get it. I shouldn't I shouldn't be that rhetorical. I get a PC Master Race and all that shit, but... Marvel Puzzle Quest? Yeah, that game's real good. I can't remember why. There was there was one moment where I was just like, yeah, I'm kind of out of this. I can't remember what it was. Weak answers like organization and the th thing that are good, like good weaknesses to state, things that can be corrected easily. Huh. Playing for an interview of Boeing? Oh, wow. Hey, uh, best of luck, Pineapple Paladin. Oh, Love Live? I haven't played that. I have, uh, somebody recommended, was it Azure Blue or something like that? 
I have a number of games that involve anime girls transforming into wartime equipment. <laughs> and I haven't played most of them, mostly because those games, like, they have huge secondary downloads and then they have long-ass tutorials, and I usually don't play games on my phone for anything more than five minutes at a time. Are you happy the shine is coming off Bethesda, or do you think the hate is undeserved? Uh, I have thought Bethesda is overshined for a while, so I think Fallout 70, in the way that, like, you know how markets get overvalued and then they're kind of due for a correction? I think the same thing happened with Bioware, actually. I think it, I think it always comes late. I think a developer makes great games, and then they start making games that are just, like, designed to be populist. Like, we want everyone to like this game. And I think, yeah, Robert, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I, whatever. I, I ran enough about how over overrated Fallout 4 is already. But uh, I think that there is a cycle in games culture where... Hey, everybody. Actually, let me move this back over to its home base. Uh, I think there is a cycle in games culture where... Uh, a developer makes a franchise or makes a kind of game, and they uh, they get really good at it. They get known for it, and then they continue making it more and more popular to everybody. Which is this process of like removing. Uh, oh, I didn't have it on full the whole, that whole time. Well, whatever. Uh, but it's this process of like removing friction from the game, of making it nothing but pleasant experiences. So, you're gonna shoot stuff in the head, and you're gonna pick up stuff, and that stuff's gonna be better things, and you're gonna go shoot people in the head again. And you're not gonna see a game over screen, you're not gonna see, like, people say bad things to you, because that, that makes people feel bad. No, it's just gonna be a uh, fucking shooting aliens in the head, boning hot alien chicks with big old titties, and uh, every NPC telling you how cool you are all the time. I think uh, Fallout 4 is like that, Mass 3 is like that. Steph is a style icon. Oh, wait, hold on. You guys need to see this whole thing. Uh, so yeah, I think I think it hits delayed. I think games get super populist, and then a little bit after that, gamers rise up. Uh, or rather, they know in their heart of hearts it's not like a real game. <laughs> it's not fulfilling. You do need a little. You do need a little friction in a game. You have to have a fail state. I'm sorry, but you do. Uh, to I think to keep people's interest, because they don't want to play the same fluff over and over and over again. Anyway, we got a tree now. There she is. And then there's a nice. Roaring fire. Do you do you guys see what a fucking Christmas Wonderland this is? Amazing. Actually, let me turn the light down a little bit. I'm just a little overexposed, but so yeah, I think I think Bethesda lose, I think Bethesda lost their shine. Um, to be to be totally clear, it's not easy to make that kind of game. It's not. I actually, uh, for what it is, I respect that Fallout 4 is made as well as it is. Uh, but, and, and kind of the same with Mass 3, like, they cut a lot of corners with that game, but they cut them very smart, uh, if that makes any sense. So I, I respect that. I respect the craft of a thing that I don't care about, <laughs> even if it's made well. And I think, uh, like, Fallout 4, I think um, Mass Effect 3 are well made. I think Anthem's going to be well made, but I also think it's going to be a just a nothing game. It's gonna be a uh, uh, like a reward, a reward loop. That's gonna be the game, uh, which is fine. The market has demonstrated it wants that, so I cannot in any way fault the company for trying to make the best version of that that they can. <sighs> Thank you, candles. Yeah, no, this is this is all Stephanie. Which here, let me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So hold on a sec, I gotta actually... Oh shit, Zach! Other Zach. Zach 14Z. 14Z. Thank you for the, uh... Thank you for the sub, dude. Let me play a song for you. Yeah, it's Christmas as fuck in here. Uh, and I, I like that. I like that a lot. Get these screwdrivers back. There you are. Yeah, I, I will. I will tell her that. I will pass along the compliment. But, uh, I gotta play a hype real quick. Uh, and then I'm going to take a quick break because there's some text messages I got, some work stuff I gotta, I gotta work through. Uh, it's a short week tomorrow, so we're trying to figure out how to squeeze in all the productions we need to. So yeah, there's never a break in the fucking in the in the Funhouse Empire. So I don't know this track at all. We we are in uh, random random track picks, but I like this artist. So, oh, Kyle, 
thank you, Kyle Moat. Thank you for the Prime sub. But this one's for Zach. Uh, Prime subs get a song at their second month. Because uh, I have weird and arbitrary rules about it. Whatever, man. Destiny's not my game. So Destiny's another fascinating game. Destiny is a Destiny is a nothing game until the raids where it becomes an actual video game. And in that way, it's kind of like a lot of MMOs. So I don't really fault it for that. Uh, the level curve is there to just teach you your mechanics, teach you your rotation. And then the raid is there to make you actually demonstrate it. Yeah, right. If Zach is if Zaxby is getting dunked on all the time, why do you need to uh, why do you need to bit time him out? Anyway, here's a track for you. I don't man, I caused a, a prime sub explosion. Thank you guys. Sports Kraz, thank you. Oreo Cookies, I love your work. Uh, Jive Kitty, thank you. Uh, hold on, I can get this out. OG Empty Eternity. Bam. That song goes or that that name goes places an Iron Snake. Thank you. Oh boy. Right on time. Got a song title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, Savor the Sun by the Polish Ambassador. So, Doc Holiday, thanks for the resub. Um, so, since I guess a bulk of people just subscribe to Prime, allow me to explain how I like do streams. It's weird. Um, I like music a lot. And for some reason, I decided a long time ago, hey, when somebody gives me, when somebody subs to me, this was before Prime even existed. I was like, when somebody subs to me, I'll just play a song for you. I'll pick a song for you. If you've been in chat for a while and I like, I feel like I know your personality. I'll try and I'll try and personalize it a little bit. But uh, if not, I'll just pick a track I've been listening to lately because I like music and uh, I like uh, it's it's honestly um, I uh, on a very deep level, I enjoy uh, the opulence of it. The idea that somebody gives me money for playing a video game, so in return I play a song I like. It's just like double dipping on something that makes no sense to me in the first place. So, uh, but Prime came along and it was super approachable. And I remember I was like playing Doom and I was like, gosh, all of this Amazon money, wow. And it got to where it was like I was stopping too much to play songs. So, the rule now is if you sub Prime two months in a row, that means you're coming back uh, to the stream and you're more part of the, the Lawrence stream culture. Uh, so, I play a song for you then. But yeah, uh, I gotta take a break to deal with my uh, laundry, and I got most of my cleanup done already. My drill's here. Well, whatever. I'm gonna hope. I, well, actually, yeah. If I kick that over, I might break this bit. Yeah, too many bezo bucks. Feels good. Oh, that's where the other screw ring went. Look at that. It's like stuck around the drill. Oh, don't be jammed like that. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. This is an unexpected problem. Huh. Yeah, that's really wedged in there. Shit. Oh, no. No? Hmm. It's moving. I'll get you. I'll get you! My cock ring! Come on. Come on, you fucker. Mm. It's almost off. Oh. oh, it's off. I heard a tink, so it's somewhere. Is your Smash main though? Uh, Malibu. I have... Uh, I've been kind of iterating, iterating my way through the ages as I unlock them actually. So Sheik was my main back in Melee. And I was actually just getting to the point where I was working Zelda into my game. But it was mostly Sheik. Uh, because, kind of like I tweeted, man, Sheik cannot close out fights. She has, she has no closers. Uh, she's all about combos and like aerials and good hits and I like that. But man, you can, she's got to be like 140, 150 before you can start getting people off the fucking stage. Uh, I went Ike and Brawl, and boy, Ike is nothing but closing hits, so it's like the two opposites. Um, in Smash U, I think... Oh, I did Marth in Melee as well. In, in Smash Wii U, I didn't really have any main. I wanted, to, I wanted to play Little Mac a lot. I really liked the idea of Little Mac, but I kept jumping. Like, uh, uh, Sheik is still in my head, and uh, Little Mac is garbage in the air. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember who else I experimented with. I played Snake quite a bit, uh, using Simon and Little Mac. I heard Simon is all about uh, uh, range, so yeah. Any of the newest characters seem like possible new mains? I haven't played almost. I haven't played any of the new ones. I've just been playing Spirits mode, unlocking people normally, and uh, I don't. Since I'm playing S Spirits, Sheik is the only like character I have experience with that I've unlocked. So. Uh, I've mostly been playing with Sheik, but I'll branch out. Simon range is insanely broken. 
If everyone's broken, is no one it? Is no one broken? I don't know. I don't know how this works out. Anyway, quick break. Uh, I got a laundry. Uh, and then I'll probably play a level of reroll just to make sure my uh, my sticks work. Just to put them through their paces a little bit. And then play some Smash. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. So I'll be right back. See you guys soon. Oh, yeah, Inkling. I want to learn that. Ike is really good. Yeah. Ike is, Ike is great. Ike's... Ike's hits are all, like, predictable and big, and they slam. Anyway, I'll be back. the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117 struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. I'm Greg Floyd. Tonight on TZA News, high school students make a plea asking some of their rock and roll heroes to stop using drugs. Also, I'm Marianne Worley in Cornwall. Coming up tonight, a Polish political refugee looking for a ticket to ride. Also tonight, three people are murdered in Rockland County and the very latest on today's storm. All coming your way at 7.30. This is WTZA, Channel 62, Hudson Valley Television.